Welcome to the Site 65 Podcast. I'm your host, Robert Tomato Peterson, and with me, we have a couple of people today. We have Department Director of Research, Barry. Hello. And we have Melia. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Glad to have you both on this on the podcast. Uh, Melia, you've hosted before at some point. Uh, Barry, um, I don't think you've hosted at some point. I'm new here. Yeah. Though you have been climbing through the ranks, becoming uh, Department Director of Research, which uh, actually I want to I, I want to talk to you about that for a second. Sounds good. All right. So listen. I am technically retired from research. However, I noticed that there's an opening for Deputy Department Director. So listen. You just make me department director. <laughs> I will come back full time and I will be the best department director you've ever seen. Uh site inspection makes that call. I can't really put that put that in motion. Uh shit. <laughs> tell you what, if you can kick flip your Prius over six eight two, we got a deal. Joke's on you, I don't drive a Prius, I drive an Elantra. Oh. But sure, I'll give that a shot. Um, we'll have to set that up, and we'll have to move six eight two to um, somewhere outside, like in Pinewood, just so that there's enough room for me to kick flip my car. But I'll give it a shot. As long as you're not shooting on nine six into the sun or something. Some idiot did that a few years, like something or something back. And uh, yeah, that was me. That uh that was in a file. Never mind. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Don't worry about it. No, I did that with 682, and then I also did that with 096. I shot him into the sun. You see... What? The problem with that... The problem with that that I have is... Uh, you, you're putting a... Con, like a, a, a thing that if you see its face in, the, in space, it doesn't matter how much of it you see. Uh, that, that's old. That's old. It's not great. Hold on, we're getting uh, interference. I believe Knox wants to join, but uh, mm. oh, there he is. Hello, everybody. Oh, no, I'm not in a while. Who's we this? just started recording. I'm glad you can. Uh, I'm glad you can remote in. Uh, of course, Thank of you course. Seeing this guy everywhere. I'm not Who familiar are you? with this individual. Who are you? Who are you? I uh, can't tell if you're Plus Amelia nightmare. or if you're Sophia. Amelia. Amelia? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you too. <laughs> That's rude. Yeah, fuck you. You know, it's, it's rude when he didn't add another person to my psyche entirely. But, you know, it's just five, okay? okay, so you were talking about this. Do you want to explain what's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> What? what me or her? You do the uh, honors. You do the honors. I do the honors. honors. Okay, basically what happened is that I had a friend, right? Quote unquote. Uh Sophia Linkleather passed medical, they treated the CI. Eventually their dumbass got their ass caught and they got blown to smithereens by the ethics committee. Now complication. I cannibalized them like twice before before they got killed. And likely because of that, they became a ghost inside my head. So, they'd be living in there for like, oh, fucking long ass time, good few months. And eventually I, you know, got a bit bored talking to Amelia, but he is a dick for all fixing consensus. I was like, wow, the perfect host for Sophia. So I extracted the spirits of Sophia and I put them inside Amelia. And here we are. Is this a chaos insurgent? Oh, yeah, no. Okay. I'm actually he's, he's part of Alpha commander. 1. Yeah, he's, he's a great commander to, uh, of CI. Currently. CI's allowed to host the podcast. They're allowed to remote in. Oh. Yeah. Tell your friend Why? Stalingrad that I left a tumor in his brain. Stalingrad? Anyway. Stalingrad is dead. I believe oh. that's from the, uh, the other cell, not this one. I don't know. I don't really... I'm gonna keep my opinions on your uh, your organization out of this. Racist stereotyping. I, like, I, I see like... how it is. Affirmative. Hmm. How is that racist? You what? 
It's GOIS stereotyping. Man. Okay, You're not anyway, exactly helping let's... your case, Knox. You're a cannibal. It's a it's a cuisine yeah, choice, no. okay? It's not like I'm one of those shitty sarcics who eat flesh and do rituals for the fuck of it. It's a cuisine choice. It's a lovely way to put it, Nox. Anyway, um, so this guy, lovely dude, right? Um, <laughs> he he constantly decides to air his dirty laundry to the entirety of the medical leadership team. I don't know why. Um, this guy, there's something wrong with him. Um on a very fundamental level, but he's still with us for some reason. I don't get it. Um, this is what I have to deal with. Day in and day out. This guy. I mean, I kind of get it, because, Nox, didn't you hold me and Keegan hostage at one point inside a free shelter? Did I? Hmm. Yeah, that was like two months ago, I think. I remember we were in Breach Shelter, you broke in, and you held us hostage, and we did an episode of the podcast. Oh, yes, yes, I do remember that very well, yes, quite a while ago. <laughs> yes, you tried wild, eating huh? my leg. It didn't even taste that good. Okay, oh, hold on. What, what do you taste like tomatoes? <laughs> I, I, I like to believe I taste fine. Really? Are you offended? Yes. I feel like for you, I haven't tried the rest of your body. I feel like your face wouldn't taste too good, but your arms and hands would probably take absolutely lethal for research. Research probably have fucking great hands and uh, arms to eat, honestly. This is sick. I would advise you to stay away from my flesh, please. I'd like to I keep like it on medical... my body. I feel like medical and research should form a liaison, and we should defeat this this thing that is in the that is in the call with us together. <laughs> Therefore, oh, what is research gonna do? And what is medical gonna do? Come on, buddy. What, well, research, what is research research, research do? will feed you to six eight two for a test. Medical will dissect the remains. No, 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 exactly. no. Exactly. Uh, Perfect team. I'm not. You know, I, I've come back from the dead once. I can do it again. That's because probably neither hell nor heaven. Why go for I'm, I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely not. You know what it's like dying? You get yes. to see. You know, I saw God and Satan and unironically, both the bitches literally gave me the finger and sent me back down. God looked at, didn't even look at me. He just gave me the finger. I turned to Satan. And, 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 and Satan and saw me. Time. He looked at me and he turned me away. And I just got sent back down. So I, I have never Satan was died. scared of being um, eaten. <laughs> and yet, and yet, you still convinced you're a god. Make it make sense. Of We're all gods in this world. Site inspectors, the ethics committee. Everyone above clearance level four. Yeah. We are gods mm. among men. Have you even heard mm -hmm. site inspections? Their MTF <laughs> Alpha One, their mm. designation. Go read Paradise Lost. It's a great book, and it shows I've already read Paradise how we are Lost. Gods. And you can tell Paradise in that Lost. case how site inspections Go find are it. heresy, 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 heresy. Uh, oh goodness! Uh, uh, absolutely. I have no idea what you're oh, talking about. Nyox. All right, uh, Melia, uh, Nox, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you guys to put on earmuffs for just a second. I need to talk to Barry. I right, ear, earmuffs on. Hey, hey, Barry. Yo, what's up? What 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 the fuck are they talking about? Paradise Lost is a book written by uh somebody, and it's basically a fan fiction on the Bible. Ah, okay then. I want to I want to I want to uh, give seven seven two two a taste of that. Uh, I think we should do that. That sounds fun. By the way, uh, I want you to know that I'm sending a bomb to the chaos. Okay. So if you're, uh, what is it, Subaru? I forgot what you said. Uh, if that blows up, that's not on me. Understandable. Why are we whispering? We're in a call. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Anyways, uh... Guys, Hello! If you're Hello. listening... Eat an entire you guys speak Bible. Very loudly. Sorry, me, don't actually. Me, eat an entire we just need to have a quick conversation. Uh, everything is good. Uh, anyways. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Very uh, good. Yes, please please don't awesome. actually. Great please do not actually eat an entire needed. Bible. If you eat an entire Bible, you will die, and not because you're gonna no, choke on the Bible. Shut up. Not because you're gonna choke on the. Never mind. Uh, what's, what's the question? Uh, All right. Sorry. So you ha you have That's not good. been on the podcast before, Barry. So uh, typically, yeah. when people have not been on the podcast, we like to ask them a couple questions. Yeah. Question number one: mm -hmm. If you're able to tell us, because you don't, there's certain things you can't talk about. But if you're able to tell us, how did you end up as director of research? Uh, well kind of was a bit of a trick situation. Do you want me to go all the way back or just how I got in this position? Uh like you were uh, you were I'm assuming an executive researcher and then like did they, did they herd you into a room and hold the gun to your head and say like, "Oh, you're now a director." And you were like, "No." And or like how did that work? Like what's what's the, what's the story on that? Well, basically what happened is once a spot cleared open, uh I uh, I don't remember it exactly because it was kind of a blur. Uh, A1 and O1 both came into my office because I, I, I'm going to be real with you. I'm, I'm the little hamster and little, little pet of both sides of Site Command, apparently. Uh, and they dragged me into the director's office, handed me this bulky lab coat and said, fill in the spot. And it just kind of happened. Oh, wow. I wish it was that easy when I was executive. I also probably uh, sold out some people, so there might be that, but we don't talk Ooh, about that. Drama. Uh, no, well, I... more like more like a certain individual <laughs> was putting very stupid uh, codes into 294 because they saw it on a TikTok trend, and uh, they Wait. almost caused 294 to blow up. Question. What is 294 doing on TikTok? No, not the 94, but like just vending machines in general. I feel like oh. we should we should put it on TikTok. I feel like they would really appreciate it. No, of I've course. been wanting I, I I've always wanted to I've always wanted to like turn six eight two into a VTuber. I would oh I'm my like gosh. 90 sure oh, that, that would be so a horrible hard. idea. No comment, honestly. <laughs> like, don't Jeez. you think my that would be amazing? Six eight two could just make be a, a VTuber. Is this how 682 gets his social interaction? He fucking right, flames. Right, okay, right. Think about it in the long term, right? We make or not, 682 a VTuber, right? The masses get, like, sure in this VTuber. They know that it's, like, a thing, right? No one gets panicked when it breaches and it almost ends the world, okay? So, win-win on both like sides, that. I feel like. Are you smoking a crackpot? No. No. Yes. The way you said no makes me think you are. Yeah. No, I'm just mental God. because of Nia. When is when is fucking Sophia going to come out? Amelia, you're a born bitch. Whoa. Like yourself, Max. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, but no, like I, I always thought like I, 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 I sixty two is like the perfect disguise because like. He's a giant reptile, but no one will believe he's a giant reptile. So, like, we don't even need to set up VTubing software. We can just have him on camera being like, hey, guys, today we're going to be playing old school RuneScape and trying to get fishing up to level 37. Uh, of course, like, 682 is not going to info breach and scream cognitive yeah, passage I'd, on the videos. I'd, I'd watch the fuck out of that. I'm not going to lie. I would, lie. too. See, I would I, I would game again, but they won't put they won't let me put my gaming off. setup in 079's chamber where I like, sleep. I'm I, I, what was that, Barry? I couldn't hear you. Oh, I was just saying uh, I wish the foundation would let me have another gaming setup, but apparently, uh, apparently, I'm not allowed to put one in my room with O with the uh, 079. Yeah, that could be an uh -huh. issue. Well, it depends on what you're trying to have him play, because I know Keegan had him play Tetris at one point. Oh no, win. I sleep. That, that's where I sleep. I, I I set up a sleeping bag in his chamber. Oh, <laughs> why? I don't ever leave sight. Oh, I don't know. He's funny. It's cool. It's like really protected, and uh, you know, uh, I I have okay. conversations with those seven nine at night. They're they're, they're very helpful you, considering. The thought one director. Um, huh. do you need a cycle ball? No, no, I, I've been checked. It, he's just. I don't know, he's Are you sure? Little, um, me, me, and Amelia are both I'm willing to give one. 
Fuck off, Niox. Anyway. <laughs> wow, okay. Shut your fucking okay, mouth, you little know, soul. I would like to make an announcement. Recently, a very important <laughs> member of our soul has resigned. His name... Thank God. Fuck off, Niox. His name... <laughs> Was chairman of ethics, Finaruk. It's very sad, very sad day to say the least. Um, it's he was my favorite like ethics, ethics person. The ethics chairman Shut resigned. Up. Yes. No! 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 Chill, chill. <laughs> your, peak, oh, yes, your your microphone oh, is God. peaking really bad. Chill. Fuck that guy. Honestly, hated him. Hated his guts. What dickhead. Don't you guys hate all Foundation staff? I extra hate some people. I don't hate people for existing. I Mm -hmm. hate people for what they do. Especially fucking Mm -hmm. 05 the way hypocrites, unethical. Mm -hmm. Same with ethics. Mm -hmm. I love love how you're talking. I am talking, in fact. When you yourself. uh, Amelia? Yes. Airmuffs again? Hmm? Airmuffs again? Airmuffs? Excuse my calm. Oh, excuse me. Very, oh. very, very. What's these, up? These, these, these two are really violent. Affirmative. I, 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 it's kind of freaking me out. They, they seem to hate each other very vehemently. I, I stay out of that drama, man. The only combative stuff I have, I mean, I used to be a gensec, actually. Oh, okay. Time. But I uh, keep a hailstorm on me. I bought it from an MCMD. Um, I just, I, I fanned a guy with that once. D class was running at me with a knife. Arthur Morgan his ass. Nice. I I just I, I I we should we should try to diffuse any situations that they're in so that they don't um they don't scream at each other. Fair. I could also just you know administer a calming agent. Uh how would that work? We're not in the same room as them. My comms band, it can display memetics. Oh. Alright, give it Wait. a shot. We're on in the video. I just realized that. Ah, it's fine. That's fine. All right. Anyways, uh, earmuffs off. Ahem, hello, um, people. Stop breaking your mic, you disgusting talk. terrorist. Wow. What the fuck did you just call me? Sorry, sorry, sorry. What did you just call me? Disgusting terrorist. Which one of us totally here fair. locks humanoid in boxes all day, every day for you hours use on SCPs end with as no weapons, food? My buddy. Yeah. Wait, Which you one of us keep them in boxes all day? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's, question. Uh, let's question. Keep our mics le- le- legit question, Knox. You just said who c- we keep uh, humanoids in boxes. Don't you guys have a box cell in your base that, like, you keep people in? Yes, because you people are ill wronged, and we actually interact with you guys. Unlike what do you, mean, you, I, I really, you people. I really, I really <laughs> you know really what love you what... people mean. All the right. foundation, re- some I of the mean... earth, evil arise. Let me just. I really this. love how you're talking when you eat people alive on the daily. It's, it's really like the cherry on top of your That's amazing argument. I only cannibalize those who deserve it, and those who do not will not get uh-huh. punishment. The foundation uh-huh. is evil, and most are evil, uh-huh. and those who are to be evil no. will uh-huh. get judgment. Wags finger, not uh-huh. all. Uh-huh. Okay, sure, we can pretend like you have any moral compass. But anyway, you all know you don't. Course. Compared to yeah, you, anyway. who scalps my CI, torches the SCP, leaves them in boxes I've all day, never done shoots that in my civilians life. to enter your That's compound. Our department. What are you talking about? <laughs> you have no moral high ground, and you may say I do not, but <laughs> I have more. All right. Uh, listen, I have an idea on how to resolve these issues. Amelia, I hope you're okay with intergender fighting, because we're going to set up a boxing ring in Pinewood, and you two what? are just going to go at it. Fuck yes! <laughs> I'm going to lose so bad. <laughs> now, here's the kicker. Amelia, Can I get a you gun? are allowed... No, well, uh, not, not what I was going to say. You are allowed to select one SCP to assist you in the battle. Woohoo! Six eight three. Yippee! Wow. Thank you. 
What, do I get that? Uh, no. You are stinky CI. Alright, well, thank God. I hope, I'd like to let you know that uh, I've been interacting with 682 quite a lot, you know, while he's been in containment, and he's gone to the point where he does not kill me when we interact, and he's very willing to give samples and talk. I give him therapy, you know, so do you think 682 is going to kill his therapist for this random human? Okay, alright. 096. 096? Scrambled no, race. last time we brought 096 to the surface, I shot him into the man. sun and then GOC blew up the site. Nah. Oh. Well, that sounds like a you issue. Anyway. Um. Max. Amelia? God, why is Sophia coming out? You're so boring. What? What? This is my body, I'm a little ass in half of my own fucking body. No, fuck Sorry, off. Back. Sorry about fuck that. No, uh, apparently, somebody took 999 and put a stick of dynamite at him. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I should... fuse. I shouldn't be laughing, but that's funny. Yeah, so 999 is now in here with me. He's, uh. It's, it's not the worst. I'm so 999. Don't touch that. You'll kill us all. <laughs> right, anyway, sorry about that. Now then, I highly Amelia, explosive how about you let, you give up control of the border to Sophia? Come on. No, it's my fucking yeah. body. Nox, Nox, Amelia. What? Relax. I'm very relaxed. I really don't want to. No, I, I want to talk. I want to talk one. about the C4 bomb that is 999 for a second. Uh, okay. 999 can re- can like regenerate, <sighs> right? Oh. Yeah, let me go. I'd, I'd hope so. <laughs> Where? But like, what if we use them to like diffuse landmine? Hey, I mean, Do you think you'd enjoy it would that? be a bad thing. It wouldn't be a bad deal. thing, right? Because he is just orange goo, right? He can just reform once he gets blown up. Can you not? Yeah, we'll have to test this. I'll have to come back on site and test this. I hope uh, Barry's okay, okay. okay with just it. Leave under the door, I guess. All right. Oh, whatever. Anyway. That, sorry, 999 was not happy that I didn't let him touch the explosive device that I definitely am not sending directly to. Uh, Isn't he supposed cell. to be happy all the time? He's not as much so like his being. I mean, he's, he's able to like be like, aw, if I don't let him play with something. 999 is my favorite. Okay. I, I, I don't know. I would go into my specifics, but uh, some of the. My favorite SCP is outside of the clearance level of. Uh, the uh, the but uh, the one I can is mention is 914. Yeah, that's me. 914. Oh my goodness, finally, we Amy sent... finally pissed off. How are you doing, Sophia? Who the fuck is Amy? I sent a GoPro through 914 and watched the footage, and I was not expecting what came out on the other side. What happened? So, uh, uh how the little doing, light, the little light on the end. Uh, oh, I was able to see it, and it, it like went to static a few minutes before, and then it popped out. But when it, like it was recording footage from the other end, but when I like walked in front of the output booth, it didn't record me. And I picked it up, and I mean, it was recording something else, and it just I don't know. It was weird. I put it on one to one. I mean, we we I could probably pull up the footage. Oh no, never mind. Looks like something destroyed the other end. But like it was really weird. It looked like we weren't seeing the same camera. It looked like it was coming from the camera of like a different dimension version. So nice. Weird. One well, more I expect a competent. full document by the end of the week about that. What do you mean? Don't I don't know why I'm expecting you? you to do that when I'm not even part of research anymore. All right, buddy. Just know that every time that you walk in the water at the beach, you're like in the same water is like ten million different anomalies that are bigger than like anything you can imagine. I mean, I get that, but there are no Oprah. anomalies bigger than your mother. Damn it, I was going to make that joke about wow. the stinky Hilarious. broccoli head over here. Broccoli hey, head. The camo crusader over here thinking that he's cool. Wow, okay. Uh, That's quite really <laughs> That's what you keep, you guys keep kidnapping me. That's not my fault. It's not my fault that every time it's that I go in me, your stupid kidnapped. cell. Kidnapped. I do not speak for just the rest of you. You're allied with them. Obviously. Don't, yeah. just don't get so kidnapped. Long. No, because it's been so long. It has been so long, goodness. It's been like a day. So last I've seen my son. I know, it's so tragic. It's been a day without us seeing each other. It's so sad, honestly. Yeah, no, they they know. Uh, You two lovebirds can reconnect. Uh, We're about to hit, like, the half hour mark. So I'd like to wrap up this episode, if that's okay. 
Sure. So I'll let everyone say their uh, final pieces, Melia or Sophia, I guess. Do you want to say anything? Sure. Bye. Have a good uh, eat. Eat food. Drink water. Don't get drunk. Don't do drugs. It feels rather directed at me. What if they're good drugs? All right, buddy. And don't do drugs. Fair enough. Knox, anything you want to say? Anyone hungry? Oh my god. Barry, uh, thank you very much for joining the podcast. I'm happy to have the department director on. Um, is there anything you'd like to say? Uh, just keep on keeping on. And also to all the other sites listening to this podcast, uh, know that uh, I was not happy with my visit at 234. You got rid of my damn sample chew. We'll send someone over to fix that. Uh, Rise anyway, so pay. let me let me give my little spiel at the end here. Uh, this has been the Site 65 podcast. Uh, thank you all very much for listening. You could find us on YouTube. You could find us on Spotify. You could find us on Apple Podcasts. We're also, uh, based on the RSS feed, we're also on a few other sites, but I don't really know them off the top of my head. So just use those three. Mainly Spotify seems to be the place most people listen. Uh, shout out to everyone who's been listening and been supporting the podcast. It means a lot to us. And uh, always remember, keep this within Foundation Comms. We don't want this getting out into the real world. Because uh, that would be a major info breach. And God forbid that happen. Um, so yeah, this has been the Site 65 Podcast. I've been your host, Robert Tomato Peterson. Thank you very much for listening and have a wonderful day.